Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we are going to be upgrading the HP Victus 16T. Let's get started. Okay, so for this upgrade, um, we are actually going to be using the PH0 bit on our iFixit kit. Um, and we're going to be taking out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. That's it, just eight screws. Make sure you keep the screws exactly how you took them apart on your table so that that way you can put them back exactly where they came out from. All right, so the next step is we're gonna use a guitar pick and we're gonna try to get in on any little gap that we see here where I'm actually gonna try to start out with the top right. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna try to do is actually trying to get a gap going and I'm gonna start on this, um, this left part here just because the ethernet part kind of gives me a place to start. You see like right there. Okay, now I'm gonna wanna move down the line and work my way down. All right, now that we've got it to the other side, we're gonna turn the computer around to the front end and continue working down. Producing a little bit of pressure with the left hand here, or if you're right-handed, we uh, do it from the other side. Okay. Got our way around. Now we're gonna go and work on the other side of the laptop. Don't rush it. It's nice and slow and steady. Now that we've gotten that side pretty loose, and I think I just clipped the right side back in, but we're going to try to get it back open. There we go. We're gonna work our way down the back. Okay. Pops. Pops. Now we're gonna take all of this and lift upward and wiggle. Okay, and then boop, there you go. All right, so let's get to another laptop here. Um, so this is gonna be your two RAM slots and this is gonna be an NVMe slot, NVMe slot, your battery. Um, and not, and then in today's upgrade, we're actually gonna be just changing the RAM, but I'm still gonna show you how to take out the NVMe just so you can see that. But before we get started, let's make sure that we, re we unplug the battery because we do not wanna be working on anything with power. So the battery connector is right here. I'm gonna take both fingers and pull downward. And that's gonna pop right out. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the RAM, latch, latch, pull outward, comes right out. We're good. We have the new RAM that we're installing here. Um, we're actually going from eight gigs of RAM all the way up to, what is this, 16, 16, 32 gigs of RAM. All right, match the notch, match the notch again, at an angle, insert, push down, okay? As for the NVMe, again, we're not changing this today, but I am gonna show you how to take this apart. It is covered with this copper plate. I'm gonna take one screw out. It's gonna kind of lift at an angle and it should come right out. Now this copper plate comes with an a thermal pad that's kind of stuck to the NVMe. You're just gonna simply peel that back, put it on your other NVMe, and push it down again. Start it back in. See this comes out. Start it back in. I'm gonna place this down again to match. And then we put the screw back in. All right, so now, as always, we work in reverse. Now that the NVMe is back in, the RAM is upgraded, we're gonna plug the battery back in. This is gonna be a little tough sometimes, the angle isn't the best. All right, so I can't get that in right now. So what I'm gonna do is actually 
remove this battery. So this is why I like I kind of like doing this um, uh, in real time because now you get to see the problems that we may run into, um, and and that being right now the angle on this is so bad to try to get back in, you just have to remove the battery, and that's what the battery looks like. Pretty neat actually. There's everything else, and now we'll get the right angle by holding the connector in place just like that, and then we push in fingers it's in now we simply just put the uh, the screws of the battery back in okay that's good to go we're gonna end up closing it up now we're gonna put these tabs in first to make sure that the front is flush and then we're gonna take the laptop pick it up and make sure that the front goes in first go all right now we're gonna wait work our way all the way around go all the way to the other side and then the back those clipped in already all right always check the middle make sure there's no clip in the middle and put your screws back in Now we do one last check to make sure we don't have any gaps. Scan across, scan across. We're good. And we're good. Okay everyone, that's the video. If this was helpful to you or somebody else, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and you share it with other people. Before I go, I want to thank Computer Upgrade King for lending this unit out to us so we can actually make this video for you. If you want to check out any more of the products, I'm going to post links down below. Anyways, that's it for this video. Make sure you take care of yourself and take care of each other. I'll see you on the next one.